and the automatic bid that came with it were just about set and ready to go. You saw head coach Sue Troy in there and her 26th season leading the Lehigh basketball pro. We got Mountain Hawks, we got Mountaineers, Brooke. We got a lot to talk about. Hey, we got Mountain Mamas. That's the matchup of tonight. I like it. Megan Walker off the mark. The rebound by Grothaus up and in, and Lehigh grabs an early lead. You want to make sure that you keep this game certainly in a good flow for yourself because West Virginia, you see the way they move the ball. They are in attack mode all night long. Grezik forced the turnover. Martinez hit the deck. Megan Walker comes away with it for Lehigh. Good hustle play and a good up and under. Okay. Yeah, just watch the footwork of the 6'3 junior right here. Just up and under. Mountain Hawks control the rebound. Open look, Hottinger launching and connecting from downtown, seven to two. Perfectly executes well, and then they get the three-pointer from Hottinger. Hottinger. Seeing the ball movement, you're seeing different players take shots, and, and most importantly, they are ready to take these shots. Lee, Lee had not intimidated whatsoever by the Big 12. You see what's up with these seeds? Get an upset in it, and uh, you know, talking to really it was talking to Sue Moran. Did you not feel her confidence in this game? Those passes on the flow, just in rhythm. Those will help get you a team and get you a run. Martinez from 16 gets the bounce. West Virginia back in front. The shot just was way off from the second it left her hand. Roadhouse inside. She's got six and we're tied at nine. Is three of three tonight. Any way possible when you're in survival anyway. advance mode like both of these teams are tonight in the first round. Yeah. Of the and this is going to be a grinded out game. I mean, you just feel it. Nine block with another shot. And she's a player that Mike Carey wants to see shoot more. He said she is not aggressive enough offensively. She comes back, gets hit in the face, has to start wearing a mask to play and ends up being the most valuable player of the tournament. She literally cannot even imagine what that would be like. So, you know, for her to, to have that experience in the middle of basketball season, and we'll actually share another story, trying to hold up, be the strength for the family. Father Pat looking on. Brooke mentioned Ottinger inside. will get the bounce. And has accounted for more than half of Lehigh's total points thus far. Would you say the tempo favors one team over the other at this early juncture? Well, I feel like the tempo is is somewhat equal, maybe favoring Lehigh a bit. You want to see more of this, more deflections, steals, runouts. Oh, okay. Sending a message. Rezik, who just hit the three moments ago, now hits another one. She's got a quick six point. And Brooks certainly a danger zone right now for Lehigh, the 13 seed. Trailing by a big shot on the way from Hodiger, and she connects. That'll be the second shot from downtown for Franny Hodiger. Well, there's a player we haven't really talked about, and she's not a huge scorer, but Claire Steele for Lehigh, as you see that three go in for Megan Walker. Martinez wanted her to cut back door. Andrezic to step back, triple, and it's all net. For Kaiser to hit that shot. We'll stop a 6 nothing Lehigh run. Sexy from the corner. Count it. And it's become a three-point shooting contest suddenly. Well, Steele is going to pull the trigger. Hottinger inside. Off glass and we're tied. She's real comfortable tonight. D and feel from Lehigh. Exactly what Sue Troyan said. She said, we're going to hunt shots. And that's it. That is exactly how they're playing. Edge nice. four. Step back. <laughs> That'd be great. Wouldn't hurt my feelings. <laughs> no. Off Ooh. the bounce, the hesitation and the finish. Gondrezic. <laughs> and look what Nyblack found. She just kind of did a little dipsy do the spin, and she was wide open from about 10 feet. Drive, probably finish, but look for her to dish too. Deans wide open from the corner and a big shot to extend the lead to 10. And as it thought about it, instead nice a great pass. look inside to Martinez who finishes. And if, if Martinez can slip the way she did right there, can get a nice high low pass, and a good setup. Now for Grothaus, Ottinger finally the put back after the offensive rebound. Hi, 
is actually leading West Virginia in offensive rebounds tonight. Would you believe me? I would not, especially with this score and another shot. That one, Ottinger off the bounce and the spin, and that shot was rejected with no real estate available. Oh. And the triple by Megan Walker. Yeah, 54-52 in OT tells you all you need to know about <laughs> what kind of slugfest contest that was. Print trigger, big shot for Clockerty. Carson tried to penetrate, gives it up. KK Deans, 14-footer is there. Lead back to 10. Knowing you know, she can either change speeds or change direction at any minute. Wide open, Ottinger. Long oh. two off the mark. Broadhouse on the offensive glass. Broadhouse. A couple of moves. Defense was better Pass. for Okafor. Andrzejczyk the other direction. She now has 13. Team all big 12. Lead at 11. Approaching four to go in our third quarter. Martinez back to work inside. After drawing the double team outside. How about Martinez picking up her teammate Jayla Hemingway off the off the ground? Pretty awesome. Oh no, that might have been KK, but either way, that is a, a big difference in the way that West Virginia has come out here in the third quarter. Winner of this game will get Georgia Tech in the second round on Tuesday. Nice pass. Inside. Ooh, nice pass. Easy bucket for the Mountaineer. Andrzejczyk now five to shoot. <laughs> off the high ball screen and it's all net. Give her 17, Brooke. Executed very well. Gondras is quickly in. ahead. And the putback is there. Who else? Martinez. Right? You, you feel like they have a good shot of going into the fourth quarter with more than a 20-point lead. There it is. 60 to 39. VU in the midst of an 11-0 run to break this one wide open. And Georgia Tech awaits. From the corner. Count it certainly has used that as inspiration and motivation for her senior campaign. And the relationship she had with her dad being out on the court this summer, Martinez hitting shots, this, this team now shooting even better, 57% from the floor. As the game's gone on, they have shot better. I Ooh, off that's the a nice Martinez, move. the offensive rebound, couldn't finish inside. At what point, if you're Mike Carey, do you look at maybe taking your foot off the gas somewhat and start getting ready for Georgia Tech? You want to be in there getting the, as many minutes as they can. This season has been shortened. You're not going to find any basketball player admit to being tired, not this time of year. No, I'm with you with all the pauses, the cancellations, the fear of the unknown. That's a three from the corner. The Mountaineers on the verge of advancing to the round of 32 for the ninth time under head coach Mike Carey to get you started the right way for your week. Yeah, I got I got Maryland headed to the final four. I don't know how anybody could doubt the Terps. Give me a sense on what to expect Tuesday. Jackets, Mountaineers. Gondras another shot from downtown. She has 26. We look forward to seeing that second round matchup against Georgia Tech on Tuesday. Time winds down, shot clock is on, that'll just about do it. 77-53, the final score. The Mountaineers dominant in every sense of the word. And they will advance to the second round of the dance.